Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys watching today's video. You're gonna be glad that you tuned in to today's video because what I'm gonna show you guys today is gonna catch you some good ones. This is sort of one of those deals that I don't talk about. I'm sharing it with you guys now. Uh, gonna give you guys an opportunity to try it yourself and see how good it works. But I've caught a bunch of big ones on this. So we're gonna talk about fishing a yellow pork frog on a jig and give you guys some tips and advice on what to look for, the conditions, and it's gonna get you some good bites, I can assure you. So I think you'll be uh, very happy after this video is over. Um, real quick, guys, just wanted to invite everybody out there. If you haven't had a chance, uh, please consider becoming a channel member here of Intuitive Angling, because channel members get uh, extra videos every week that aren't seen by the public and some access to my personal email address for your fishing questions. And if you're interested on my YouTube homepage, uh, on the homepage screen, you'll see a little button that says join. That gives you the, all the info for that. And that's a good way to, to support the channel here. Much appreciated. Okay, guys, uh, I I had a chance to learn jig fishing from the jig master, Terry Thomas. He, I talk, to him, talk about him quite a bit here on my channel about how much he's taught me about jig fishing. And actually this particular uh, setup that I'm talking here I saw another angler do this back in 1983, and it it caught me. It 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 seemed to me so like um, unusual this particular setup of a chartreuse pork frog on the jig that I couldn't believe it. I was actually fishing a tournament with Terry down at Grand Lake, and we were flipping willows with black and blue jigs. And there was a couple other anglers in the same area. And one of the anglers down there was a local angler and he passed us and he was throwing a black jig with a yellow pork frog on it. And I'm going, God, that's the ugliest looking thing I've ever seen. And he wound up finishing second in the tournament. He caught a big string on the yellow pork frog. So I started using it after that and it's become a mainstay for me under the conditions I'm gonna talk about. So first of all, let's talk about the setup guys. This is my block, block it old school jig. You need to use the black rubber, black living rubber with the chartreuse skirt on it, just like this. And I'll put the Baitworks link in the description if you guys want to get them. And I've got it paired up with this Popeye's yellow pork frog. And you can get some of these Popeye's by just going to their Facebook page, uh, Popeye's pork there. And it's a yellow pork frog on a black and chartreuse jig. Now guys, this thing, it's bright, but when you put it in the water, it looks really, really good. And you would think that you, you need to have muddy water for this yellow to work. Not necessarily so, guys. This setup right here, there's a couple different um, conditions I'm gonna talk about when it works the best, but it's not necessarily a dirty water technique. In fact, Terry and I, we were fishing out at Bull Shoals Lake and I caught big bass of the tournament with Terry on Bull Shoals Lake and you got water visibility of six, seven foot where I caught the big bass on the yellow pork there in one of those tournaments at Bull Shoals years ago. So here's what you gotta have. If you do have a bright, sunny type day, you need some off-colored water. And that, and that off-colored water <clears throat> can be anywhere between, say, maybe 12 inches in visibility up to three feet. That is the ideal scenario for that. If the water's a little bit cleaner, a little bit, you know, towards the three and four foot visibility, they'll still bite it, but you have to have a dark day early and late in the day uh, cloudy, rainy type days. And this is when I've done best on it overall, guys. If you get a day out there where it's cloudy and rainy and windy, put you on a yellow pork frog with the block and chartreuse, block it old school on there and see what happens. And a lot of this stuff I read about before I perfected it myself because there used to be a, um, a magazine, or actually it was a tournament circuit. It was called the Great Plains Pro Bass Association Tournament. That, in fact, the first check I ever got in a tournament in a draw tournament was fishing one of them at Stockton Lake. But anyway, there was this one guy uh, that fished the Great Plains Association at the time and he dominated it. I can't remember his name because this has been like 40 years ago. I think it was uh, Gary something. <clears throat> but anyway, he was winning a bunch of tournaments and all he fished was a jig. And he goes, all you need guys is you need a black jig on sunny days and you need a black and chartreuse jig if it's cloudy and rainy. So I started using the black and chartreuse jig with the chartreuse or yellow pork on those cloudy days and it made a huge difference. I mean, the, the number of bites I got under those conditions just skyrocketed under those conditions. Now I've also used a chartreuse trailer like Zoom makes a chartreuse pepper that I put on there sometimes, but I really prefer the pork because you can see how bright the pork is and it just gives it a different glow, a different look in the water. 
But guys, I'm telling you right now, add this to your arsenal, black and chartreuse jig, chartreuse or yellow pork on the black and chartreuse jig, and it will get you some good bites. Not only it will get you good bites flipping a pitching, but you can also use it as a swim jig color. It works really good as a swim jig. And by far the best success I've had on the black and yellow is in flooded cover. If you got flooded bushes, flooded trees, flooded willows, that type of stuff, it's outstanding. Although you can catch them around any shallow cover with it, grass beds or whatever. So just a quick tip, guys. You guys will thank me later after you try it. Uh, get you some, I'll, like I said, get you some Popeyes and some of the block of old schools. Put it on 25 pound test, Seaguar and Vizix line, pull out your flipping stick and uh, get you some good bites on it. So we'll talk later. See you.